Most of us use internet to access usual things like watching your favorite show or for communication. But there's a large side of internet that most people don't have access to. And then there's a part of internet that is used mostly for illegal activities. And they're commonly known as deep and dark web. So let's talk about what's the difference between deep and dark web and how they are different from the surface web. Web that we commonly use is surface web, which includes services like reading an online document or literally anything that you can access from search engine or without any type of password. Then there comes the deep web. Deep web is a part of internet that you may think is inaccessible to you, but we all use it almost every day. So what is deep web? Simple way to explain that would be anything that you cannot search on Google is a part of deep web, or anything that Google or any other search engine have no information about would be considered deep web. So how do we use deep web? After you log into your Facebook profile, you can't really get to that information without passing in your username and password. Search engine can get that information. Even when you make your Facebook profile private, you've pulled it up from surface web and that is now a part of deep web. Or when you type in your account information to buy something online, your information becomes a part of deep web because search engines don't have access to that information. Even when you make your computer a local server, it will be assigned an IP address. You can give that IP address to your friend so that he can access files on your computer, which will remain a secret between you and your friend unless you do something to make it public. That would also be a part of deep web. Deep web is the largest part of web. According to estimation, about 96% of the web is deep web and surface web is only about 4% of the web. Next comes the dark web. Dark web are websites that usually use public internet but they cannot be accessed in browser like Chrome and Firefox. We need specific software to search for dark web. The most common one is tar browser. They use onion routing. Simply you'd see .onion at the end of URL instead of .com. These sites are also not indexed by search engine. To make sure the anonymity, onion routing is mostly associated with illegal activities, but that is not always the case. You can use onion routing for good stuff too. Even so, most of the traffic on Tar Network is just normal people searching the web to make sure they are secure. People in oppressed countries can use Tar Networking to their advantage to raise a voice against oppression or simply make people aware of their situation. However, the darker side of dark web is really the worst part of internet. People do all sorts of illegal things just for the sake of some bucks. So I hope by now you know basic difference between deep and dark web. So this is it for this video and see you guys in the next one.